Hi everyone, Lee here from Pedalboard to Doom. Uh, it's not been a great week really, has it? So I'm going to kick off with uh, the news, um, which I'm sure you know about, but we'd be foolish to not mention it. And that's um, Mr. Eddie Van Halen dying. Um, he has been a massive, massive, massive influence in the gear world, as well as just like guitar as well. He was as revolutionary as Hendrix and um, took over the world as much as like the Beatles and, you know, you, you know this stuff. I don't know, need to tell you about it really. Um, and it's a really big loss to us all. So rest in peace, Eddie. We'll miss you. Okay, let's get on with it then. Um, so we've got not very much news this week, which is a real change from the last few weeks because it's been non-stop. So let's get through it. What have we got? Something we actually missed from last week, and I can't believe we did, but it was full on last week, uh, is this. So this is um, Chase Bliss's new pedal that's in, like the same as the Automatone. Automaton, I should say. Um, this is the CXM1978. They've made this in um, conjunction with Meris, and Meris make great pedals. I've got their Enzo Synth, and I absolutely love it. It's a fantastic pedal. Um, what is this, though? So you would have seen that over the last few uh, weeks and months, uh, a lot of reverbs come out, namely the Strymon Night Sky, and the eventide black hole they we've mentioned them you've seen them on the on the news and we've spoken about them they have been about creating new sort of reverb sounds this is going in the other direction but i really think this will be responsible for some new reverb tones so uh let's have a look at it it's um got flying faders just like the autom automaton it's 32 bit so that's like a um, really really high that's the same as like the loopers boss release last week on the here instead of having these like spacey sort of reverbs um what we've got is they're all aimed towards the sort of reverbs that we heard around 1978 hence why it's called the cxm 1978 and I think CXM stands for Chase Bliss X Meris. Um, so on here, you've got the choice of um, room, plate, and hall. So as you would on a traditional sort of digital reverb. Uh, you've got different tanks that you can choose from. You've got hi-fi, standard, or lo-fi. So you can get those sort of like lo-fi reverb sounds. Um, jump i'm not actually sure what jump does diffusion and that will be how it diff diffuses because they want to be able to allow you to get those sort of spacey sounds it's pretty damn cool to be honest this will be one of those pedals that we won't know all the tones about it until the users get hold of it and i know a lot of people put in their orders for these already i wouldn't be surprised if it sold out so that that's spot on that looks really 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 cool joe send us one and i'll do some more news on it <laughs> Ain't no way that's happening. These aren't cheap though. Um, I think they're around seven, eight hundred dollars, something along those lines. I can imagine why. You know, you got two quite big companies going at it on this. Yeah, a lot of lot of manpower, a lot of R and D. Okay, let's move on. So we've done that one, and uh, the next bit of news is these. All right, these are pretty cool. I'm a little bit excited about these, probably more so than I should be. Um, they, Vox, are associated with the company that created the new tube. If you don't know what the new tube is, it's um, a chip about so big and um, it emulates a valve, a bit like a FET does, but more so. So it's got a little, you know, it glows green and it's pretty cool. I should have brought a picture up of one really, but I haven't. Each one of these has one in, and it's you know it's going to sound very much like um, a tube in there, so a valve in there. They did the valve tube screamer, so I think it was called the new tube screamer, and they did that. Um, what do we know about this? So we know that it was initially uh, announced back in um, Nam Winter Nam. Obviously, we haven't had a summer Nam. Um, what do we know? The screens on them are OLEDs. I think that's a bit overkill, really, to be honest. But, you know, um, the copper. So the copper drive is your 
80s full stack. The Mystic Edge, which is the red one, that is AC30 tones. The Silk Edge, which is the bottom right, the lighter grey one, that is bluesy amp tones. And the Cutting Edge is modern metal tones. Now, for me, reading between the lines, the gold one's a Marshall. The Mystic Edge, which they've quite rightly said is an AC30. The Silk Drive is a Fender. And the cutting edge is a Mesa. Mesa. Um, that's pretty much it, really. I want to hear these. I'm hoping they sound really, really good because those new tubes have been underutilized and they really should be used if they're that good. So, yeah, really, really cool. Um, other than that, we've got a little tiny bit more news. Um, nothing overly massive, only that... Um, Mr. Bonamassa has bought out a Black Beauty Epiphone, which is super cool. Black Beauties are really, really nice. If you don't know, they're the Black Les Pauls, as you can see in here, but they have the free pickups. Really, really groovy. Uh, Pete Townsend used one. And, they, you know, you don't really see them as an Epiphone, especially not when they link to one of, like, Joe Bonamassa's uh, guitar collection. Like him or love him, the guy has some awesome guitars. You know, he's one of the world's most prolific... Uh, collectors and this guitar looks awesome um, I don't know how much it is I should have looked that up <laughs> go look it up leave it in the comments let me know that'd be great um, so let's do the solar stuff so let's do su subs and like the video and share the video and all that sort of thing that we want you to do to promote us yes thank you very much uh, I've sold myself um, <laughs> Have a lovely weekend and we'll see you next week for next week's news. Cheers all. Bye bye.